Hi everyone, how do we represent the problem statement to perform particular task using concept learning with notations? Here the given data set is having four number of instances or training examples that is represented with capital X. This is the instance space X. Here the problem statement is uh, each day is represented with six attributes sky one temperature uh, humidity wind water forecast so six attributes six attributes the we have to uh, learn that means learning system should learn the patterns or values given in the training samples to know the target concept yes or no that means on that particular day can uh, can we play the game or not so here the sky have three different values cloudy sunny and rainy temperature is having warm and cold two different values humidity is having two different values normal high like that uh, all uh, remaining attributes are having two different values here the target concept c of x for you look at that this is the target concept c of x to, uh, to the corresponding sample i the uh, value will be denoted with boolean valued function already we have seen this is uh, denoted with boolean valued function true or false yes or no or one or zero so that's what mentioned here then there is the hypothesis denoted with capital h which is having the conjunction of literals conjunction of constraints the conjunction of this constraints of given training sample so hypothesis is having the hypothesis space capital h which is uh, having the n number of hypotheses we are going to derive by using this set of training data set uh, here uh, for example h1 is having uh, first attribute is question symbol it will accept any value that may be a sunny or cloudy or rainy uh, then second attribute uh, temperature is accepting only the cold then third attribute is accepting the only the value humidity and the fourth attribute fifth attribute six attributes are accepting any value this is general constraint in the hypothesis then this training example are represented with a space instant space capital x or data set d the examples are denoted with the positive example or negative example that means if it is yes that is the positive example if it is no that will be denoted with negative example yes can be represented in the another form true or another form one right like that no can be represented as false or another form zero okay so this can be represented each and every sample can be represented like this so this is the x1 its corresponding target concept is c of x1 so the first sample is represented like this second sample is x2 the all all features these attributes are coming under the x2 then the value target concept is c of x2 like that n number of samples or m number of samples xm uh, c of xm the xi is the training samples then what is the target what is the task here the task is to determine the hypothesis hypothesis from the hypothesis space h that the determining hypothesis i mean uh, that the concluded hypothesis will will find the value which is close to the target function that means approximate value to the target function that is denoted with h of x i so h of x i the that is for the with respect to some particular sample is target concept that means either that value will be true or no uh, true or false that means yes or no or zero or one with respect to all training samples here we are having four samples so with respect to all four samples it, it should be matched the hypothesis value should match with the target concept values which is given here so this is the way to denote the particular problem statement using the con uh, concept learning so here whichever hypothesis which is satisfying all the training samples in this location then that hypothesis will be the best fit hypothesis among n number of hypotheses available in the hypothesis space capital h thanks for watching